Hello everyone, how are you? It is Sharon here. Uh, I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff right here on Essential Stencils page showing you another stenciling tutorial. So let me know if you're watching the replay, you can comment the word replay and you get a chance to win a stencil prize. So if you are here live, there's always a chance to win. At the end of our live, we draw three lucky winners. So let us know that you're here. Hi Dawn and Deb. Um, and uh, you usually get notified if you, if you uh, have your notifications turned on to the Essential Stencils page. There's usually a bit of a shout out that goes out to everyone to say, hey, we're live. So hi, Deborah. Wendy's here. Lovely to see you all. Uh, just going to start up my laptop here with the live on it so that I can see comments a bit more clearly. There we go. Um, but let me know where you're tuning in from. Southern Indiana Gladys is from. Hi Jackie. It's so great that you could all join me today and we're going to be doing a fun live today. I was trying to decide whether to do some Father's Day with the new Father's Day stencils or to do some 4th of July uh, kind of stencils. Hey, we're going to do a bit of both. I think that we can do all the things today. So um, let's get started and we're learning, we're doing uh, stenciling on book stacks today. So have you seen the, and I have done a book stack before, but I want to do something else today with the book covers. So if you saw my sneak peek over on my I Restore Stuff page uh, last night, well, last night for me, probably early this morning for you guys, I'm from Australia, if you didn't know by the accent. Um, Hi, Mike Marlene, <laughs> watching from Tennessee. Hi, Carol, Kathy. Yeah, so in Australia here, it's morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, beautiful day today. I've heard it's gonna rain and I have my washing on the line. So does anyone else get freaked out when they hear that pitter patter of like, no, you probably don't have washing on the line. You guys use dryers, what am I thinking? Um, yeah, in Australia, we hang everything out in the beautiful sunshine. So uh, it's an Australian thing. I'm sure that when you hear the pitter patter of rain, it stresses me out and I go, run to get the clothes off but I won't I won't go anywhere and the sun's shining right now I think the weather's going to be good hi Terry it's rained off and on all day for you there you go so I hope you'll join in the chat and um, stay tuned because we do announce winners at the end of our giveaway join in the conversation here if you have any stenciling questions while we're going let me know and also, if you are brand new to stenciling, if you've just, say you've just purchased your first lot of essential stencils and you have any questions, let us know. But also just say hi, let us know you're a newbie here and it's your first time watching our lives or if it's your first time stenciling, we'd love to hear from you. Say hello in the comments. Hi, Brenda. And yes, Carolyn says it's been raining there too, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Great job, guys. All right, well, here's the Father's Day stencils. Let's just have a look at these. We've got two sets that came with the latest batch of essential stencils uh, to their site. So don't forget, use my code IRESTOREStUFF for any of your stenciling um, needs on essential stencil site, including their brushes, including their wood tags, anything. Get 10% off just for you. So use my code IRESTOREStUFF. There you go, there's the uh, Father's Day stencil. It's a two pack, this one, and it says, to the world you are a dad, but to our family you are the world. And on the back, we've got the acrostic, I think you'd call that, whoop, there we go. <clears throat> Father, funny, brave, strong, hero, awesome, and caring, yeah. We've got our little stencil instructions packed in every pack so that you have instructions to go with if you are new, new to stenciling. Um, and here's a three pack of the mini set. So these are six by six stencils and Essential has a gorgeous range of these six by six. There are so many uses you can use these for. We're gonna be using these ones today on our book stack and uh, you can even use them for making cards, all of that kind of thing, banners, all that sort of stuff. So here's best dad ever and we've got I love you dad. And then the third one in this three pack is Happy Father's Day. Simple, happy Father's Day. So there you go. So those are what we've got in our Father's Day set. And I'll show you the other ones in a minute that I might be using for our 4th of July idea. And of course, we don't have Independence Day over here in Australia, but my husband is from America. So, and my father-in-law who lives here in Australia also is from the USA. So we do tend to love a good, uh, you know, 4th of July celebration in our house. So 
I'll be making something for us, just for us. Okay, on with our Father's Day uh, set. We have some book stacks here that I have pre-prepared. Now this is what we call, now you might like to just stack books just like this. And these are old books. They make great, well that one says a big thesaurus on it. But sometimes you might um, stack them like this, just on a shelf. And I like the, the different colors that books come in, you know, the hard cover books. So some people like to stack their decor just like this as an old, you could bind them together and make a little book stack as a bit of decoration, having the spines out or having the spines, um, what do you call this? The pages out or the spines facing out. So let me know in the comments, which you prefer. Do you use book stacks? Let me know and your decor and um, how we can just make these a little bit more unique for each season, you can change them up. Some people like to use paper and wrap around them and then make their book stack idea or do what I've done today and tear off the spines. And now these are old books that we are no longer using. In fact, I just found them being tossed um, in the charity bin that was like a bargain prices. So I've taken off the spines and this is what you'd probably call a naked book stack kind of like naked cakes, you know, so they've got no spines on them. Sometimes I like to find the ones that have got, well, mostly you want to find the ones that have blank pages on the, on the inserts and the back, because some of them, some books will come, you know, from charity stores or whatever. They'll, um, when you tear off that front spine, it does have like a, a title page showing on the top. So I try to find those ones. And I also try to find ones that are, similar in height oh Debbie says she works I'm assuming it's Debbie Rick Debbie <laughs> McCarthy says you work in a school library and you love to arrange them in different ways yeah that's awesome um, yep to raise items on your cupboard shelf perfect idea who was that Connie yeah that's what you that's what they're great for and they do add a little bit of color uh, to your decor and you can you know use this idea that we're doing today to even add different colors you can paint in different colors so some people like to even paint their sp the spines on here and i'll show you one reason why i might also paint the spines is every now and then you'll get a book that when you tear the spines off let's just kind of go through how you would take the spines off them if you were wanting to do this way here's one uh, that i do have and i don't think i'll tear the spine off this one because i kind of like this aged look of this book. So I'm going to leave this one, but here's how you would. So I use a Stanley Fat Max, it's called Stanley Knife. I do have this in my Amazon shop if you ever want to see any of the tools that I use for stenciling or my furniture and upcycling, which is what I do on my blog, I Restore Stuff, is I do furniture and upcycling, painting furniture in Australia. So that's what we do. We just use the knife so I won't, I'll put the blade away, but you just, score down each side of the spine and it literally comes away really well because it's only attached by that much because there's this gap in here okay so that's how we take them off and remove the spines but every now and then you might find a spine that shows up like this and it's all kind of tattered and torn it has some paper that you have to tear off and there's some giant ink spot which i don't know how they get there uh, there's glue and all sorts of things here so what I would do for that is either get a piece of cardboard and stick that down that spine or just paint it with some acrylic paint. But just be warned that sometimes those ink spots are really hard to cover with acrylic paint. You may need a stain blocker like a Zinsa bin stain blocker that's got a shellac base that will actually cover if you use the white one that will cover that ink spot there. So there's a good tip for you on um, doing that. So I did have this one in mind, but then it this happened, so I'm going to have to deal with that one. So I'll put that aside and I'll fix that later for another time. I like to do my book stacks, as you'll probably notice a lot of them are in. Um, thank you guys so much for sharing too. If you just hit the little share button, if you know someone else who would love to watch this live, you, you can uh, sprinkle it around. That would be wonderful. So I like to use them around about the same height. Okay, so and also in stacks of three, you usually do odd number stacks. Uh, you can do two if you want. You can even just have one book and have a little stencil on. So we're going to be stenciling on the sides of these today just to make a bit of Father's Day decor. 
All right, so I popped my books up like that. One thing that I didn't get from my workshop out there in the garage is my clamp. So usually I'll clamp them together on either side. So I'm gonna just have to manage without that today. Um, just to hold them still and hold them upright here. Let me just pop that down on the bench a little bit more. So I can hold them still in order to stencil across here. So see how I've arranged these ones. I've got brown either side and then the white one in the middle. You could paint that, you could even paint that a completely different color to suit your decor. So there's an idea for you. Now the other thing, stay tuned because I wanna know what you do with the book covers once you've got the cover off it. So see these ones, I've scored the cover off, but I also removed the actual spine part. And now I'm left with these lovely boards that I thought, Wow, you could use them for something else. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you one idea that you can use these boards for, for stenciling on. You could even make little signs, frame them. I don't know, but I'm going to show you my idea in just a minute. So stay tuned and don't forget prizes at the end guys. So join in the chat and share away. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to try and keep an eye on the comments as much as I can. So if you do have any questions, let me know. Put my glasses on and we did mention the different Father's Day sets that you can get. Use my code IRESTOREStuff when you go to Essential Stencil. Pop that in where the checkout where it says add your coupon code and you'll get 10% off your order. I also wanted to mention too about our Stencil of the Month Club. Essential Stencil has a Stencil of the Month Club and you will see uh, my design coming up for June. So that will be hitting your, your uh, mailboxes, real mail, snail mail. Um, boxes soon if you are in the stencil of the month club if you're not you will want to check out this month's uh, design on grandparents so if you know a grandparent if you are a grandparent they will be fun set for you to use we're going to use this one that says best dad ever and on the stencil of the month club if you do uh, join using my code i restore stuff you'll get 50 percent off your very first month in the stencil of the month club okay so here's what i like to do let me just show you this if i can pop this down here so when i'm stenciling on the books i could go <clears throat> most of the time you'll see you know them off to one side just stenciling off to one side and then wrap them say with a bit of string or something on this side I feel like I'd like to just do this one straight down the center like this. So that's what we're going to do today. <clears throat> this one at the base is slightly larger. And so because I don't have my clamp here, I'm gonna to have to just hold this really tightly together. I will be using, let's see, let's just use a black paint. You could use whatever color paint you want for stenciling. And I'm just using an acrylic uh, furniture paint that I use for, fur for furniture. Here in Australia, this is an Australian brand uh, of mineral paint, artisan mineral paint. I also use fusion mineral paint and I stock that here in Australia as well. <clears throat> but um, if you're in the USA, I do also have links for that in my Amazon shop if that's what you would like to use. So we're just going to use one of Essential Stencil's little stencil brushes. They've got a nice short stencil bristle and they're flat on the top which make them really good for stenciling so there's that and what i'm going to do is bring my offload cardboard right here so we can see that and if you've never stenciled before oh yeah nancy thank you tape the books together she says i hope that this uh, painter's tape will not tear my paper but Nancy had a great idea. Thank you so much. I'm running out of painter's tape. What I think I will do is, um, I'll just do a little, a long one. I might just tape it down to some cardboard so it's not as sticky. Because sometimes if you tape it onto either something beforehand, even um, taping it onto your clothing like this, it kind of de-stickies it because you're adding a little bit of fluff from the clothing and things. So let's see if that will work. Nancy, someone give her a high five. <clears throat> now I've also got to just make sure that that, whoop, 
that uh, fits my stencil on it. Oh, should have moved it a little bit further over. But that's a great idea. So usually you would use, a, you know, I would use a clamp or something like that, similar. And it didn't even, you know, stick to the paper. So that's a great idea. And I'll do one on the other side as well. Um, it's so funny because I'm trying to catch comments, read comments at the same time. Just happened to catch Nancy's comment and the idea for um, adding tape to the books because here I was stressing out thinking, ah, what am I going to do? So once again, just adding a little bit of fluff, clothing fluff to the tape to make it not so sticky. All right, so let me just hold that together a bit tighter. And this will hold the books together while we stencil it. Okay, and thank you for anyone else who thought of that idea too. Um, yes, Tina, you've got a great idea. Maybe you could use the spines in a frame and make a picture. What a great idea, I love it. Okay, so now that our books are holding steady and holding still together, <clears throat> we're ready to put our stencil on. Now, with this stencil, it almost fits perfectly if I, add, if I put the dad in the center, but I feel like I might just move the best up a little bit and move the ever down slightly, okay? So good evening, Tammy, who just arrived. You haven't missed much. We're doing a Father's Day book stack so that we can just have a little bit of home decor. You can do this with any of the, these mini size are perfect for the um, stenciling the books. And also there's also a small font that you can get. I think if you're in the Stencil of the Month Club, um, they have them in the Stencil of the Month Club shop. So uh, they're letters that are especially made for the size of book spines like this. All right, so see what I'm doing here? I'm just getting a bit of black paint from the lid where I've just shake, shaken my jar of jet black paint and I'm going to put the stencil right in the middle. We'll tape it down so that it's very steady and it's a little bit tricky sometimes if one book is raising up slightly ahead of another. I'll try and move this forward a bit more so that we can get a better view. Eesh. Okay, we've got our paint going on there nicely. I work the paint into the bristles, but also offloading it at the same time because we don't want too much on there. And the other thing I will do, uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go right over. Yeah, no, we won't. <laughs> just gonna show you how, because I like to center those words, the word best and the word ever, I'm just gonna tape them for now and we'll just move it up slightly, move it down slightly for the word ever. See how you can just kind of tape off and mix up your letters a bit. Missy the cat just walked into the room and you, I don't know if you heard her little bell shaking. Um, but last week, if you missed last week's live, I had Missy here for all of like maybe five seconds. Missy the cat because we did some pet stencils. So if you missed that one last week, go check out the video section in the Essential Stencil page right here and you'll see last week's live. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing a mixture of sta uh, stippling, which is, you know, dabbing and swirling a little bit also so that we can make sure that that gets all into, these spines are a little bit sort of rough, the paper's a bit uh, textured, so to speak. So I do have to do a little bit of pouncing to get it into the grooves as well as swirling a little bit more. Now this is lifting up slightly because, I don't know if you can see, this book is slightly higher than the middle book here. But this is such a fun idea for just making some super easy decor to decorate your house for any occasion. So you could do this for with the 4th of July mini stencils, you could do it with um, Father's Day stencils, Mother's Day, Christmas even. So just make some nice book stack decor. And um, as I was saying earlier, if you wait till a little bit longer, I'm going to show you what we can do with the, the book covers, you know, because I was just kind of throwing those away thinking, well, not much I can do with those now that I've made my fun um, book stack. 
Let me just see that line. Oh yeah, it's working. Get those corners in. But I've got an idea for those for the covers. All right, so this is what I called before a naked book stack. So there's our dad right there in the middle. So that's just fit in that center book, nice and neatly. Now I'm just gonna move slightly the, the word ever, so best dad ever. And we'll line up the word ever now. So you can see that this is not gonna be in line anymore, but I wanna put the word ever in the center, um, horizontal, no, vertically, vertically centered. Uh, within that spine at the bottom. So now I can tape down these sides and I also want to tape over this line underneath where the dad banner is. And then I'm going to add a little bit more paint to my brush, but offload it. So you might wonder, why is she putting paint on and then she's wiping it all off? Well, you've kind of got to work the paint into the bristles and you do have to offload more paint so that it doesn't tuck under the stencil and create what we'd call bleeding. It means it kind of makes the edges of your letters all fuzzy and we don't want that. We don't want that for our letters. We want them nice and crisp and clean lines. So to do that, the best way is to offload as much paint on your brush. And I still uh, do get comments of people saying, oh, I still get bleeding underneath. Well, my advice is you've still got too much paint on your brush and you just need to offload more. So even when you think you've offloaded a lot, offload some more because you can always add more paint on, but to take it off <clears throat> once it's kind of bled under, see how nice and dark and sharp that is? And you saw how much I offloaded that brush as much as I could. So there we go. So we've got that going. Let's see. Um, so I'll just take the tape off that center part there again. And what I do need to do now is to take the tape off the top and we're going to center that also. Now being careful when you're taking tape off the stencils just to make sure that you're not lifting these um, areas of the letters that have those little bridges because the bridges are quite thin and they're just there simply to hold the centers of the letters in place. So lining that word best up now and you'll see that it, it come, that comes above the word dad. So if I did try, it would be sort of too close to the, the spine edges. So just making that around about where I want that best. Okay, so now we're ready for that one. Again, loading a little bit of paint onto the brush and offloading it on my piece of cardboard here beside me. And I feel like I just put that on slightly crooked, no? Might be okay. All right, so uh, I work sometimes in circular motions, sometimes stippling. <clears throat> yes, someone just mentioned if you pick up less paint on the brush to begin with, it does help. And sometimes what you'll see me do is I'll pick up paint from in the jar and then I'll actually wipe it off the side of the jar first. So you wipe off as much as you can off the side of the jar, then go down to your offloading place and then you waste far less. But because I was using it in the lid, I'm not really getting a lot on uh, my brush. So good point. And then we just swirl it round or smoosh it in. Again, I was saying how there's little tiny grooves and ridges in the spines of the books where all the pages join together. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we have our best dad ever sign and now we can just um, you can either some people like to glue the, the books actually together but what I might do is and we've got our tape on here thanks to that wonderful um, person who was giving me the, the hint yes Valerie says I can see your cat back there I almost grabbed her and said where did she go she's gone 
<laughs> she um, is all about, she's missing out on stenciling today and she didn't want a bar of it last week. She was ready to get out of here. Okay, so this one, oh, I've got the, the black book on the bottom, but you could make the black book on the top if you wanted to, to add a bit of, you know, black to the top of your stack. So just have a think about which way and which direction you want to use your books. <coughs> Oop, now don't go anywhere because we're going to be using some 4th of July stencils to create something fun with our book covers in just a minute. Now that I've got my stencil all done, you can wipe that right away with just a bit of uh, a wet cloth um, or I've just got a sink full of water right here because I'm on my kitchen bench and so I'm just going to use that. <coughs> okay, so then we're just going to get a bit of string. You could either, you could wrap this around both sides or just the one side. <coughs> Excuse me. We might do both because I think that would be fun. I should have left my tape on for just for now. So what I'll do is think about that it's got to be on the top to finish. So I want that string to go around the top. So I'm just kind of going right towards the end outside this banner section here. And I'll just hold the books up like this. We do about five wraps around of the string. One, two, three. Whoops, my string's going for a, a roll. Four, five. And then we'll cut that off. Tie it off, Just straighten our string up a little, tighten it up. Thank you, Stephanie said stand them. Yeah, I think that's what I did in the end. That worked out. All right, so I'm going to tie two, two knots so that it keeps it stable and tight. And then you can either, you know, keep the knots, you could cut it tight, you could do a bow like this. However you like to finish that off, you can add some other kind of father's, father, fatherish decor on there. The other idea that I was saying before, people do, they can glue that, um, glue the pages together. Okay, so we've got, I'll straighten this up in the end. One, two, oh, there goes my string. <laughs> What am I up to? Three. You can do more or less. It's totally up to you. Four. Yep. And let's do one more. Five. Lay it down. Cut it off. And then just looking at the front there, I've got them and two little stacks either side. What about some other ideas there for what you could tie around here? I'm thinking um, fishing line. I don't know, you know, for your fishing dads. And um, there's also, well, there's the hunting stencils, hunting set stencils that you could tie into that and add some more s different stencils. You know, best dad ever you could have on here and then you could add a little fish or something from the hunting or fishing stencils, sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, Sandy says you could add money between the pages if it's a gift or photos too. Yeah, you could. That's a great idea. So, you know, it's meant to be a little bit of decor. So you could just, you know, put dad's breakfast on a tray, put this on the table, uh, all ready for father's, some kind of Father's Day celebration. <clears throat> so that's the fun idea with that one. So there's a book stack for you. And there's so many different possibilities, like I said, that we could do with book stacks. Now, I wanted to show you uh, something to do with these book covers, like the, the actual cover of the book. And I've cut them, I cut the spine off it. So they were obviously like this. So then I took the spine part out and someone mentioned too, that some ideas for actually using that spine. So there's that, but then you've got just these boards at the end that I thought, wow, if I just cut those off, they'd be a great little something. And I'm thinking, what could I make those into? And then I looked and my 
the book covers that I had were red and blue and then I had this gray color so I don't know if you can see the gray on there and I've just painted them white so that now we've got red white and blue book covers and we're going to create some kind of a banner or bunting with just some 4th of July decor on there. I'll have to put my book stack back here for a minute. Um, so let's see if we're going this way and it doesn't, so it's not completely neat on one end. You've got a nice neat edges on other end, but we're going to make them go facing downwards like this. So let's go red, white, blue, and then red, white, blue. So that's kind of the order that we'll do the stencils in. And then here's, let's go through some of the stencils that you have, the options we have for stenciling on these. Now in the uh, most current, most recent set, we've got the red, white, and blue tags, a three pack here. So this is what comes in that. We've got the red, white, and blue. And of course you can do these in any sorts of colors. We've got the cool sunnies with the flag on them. So there's that. And then we've got the truck with the flag. And you could do these in a bunch of different, you know, colors or ways. And these obviously aren't going to fit exactly. Well, that will actually, it'll fit just like that on here. You could even make them going this way, you know, your bunting or, flags but I kind of like this idea of it going down we can see what we could do with those so those are those three now last year oh, and then this this year we've also got this pack here which is a six pack of minis and that actually comes with a bunch that could also be used on this size of your book it's got some cute Americana America land of the brave so we could do that it we have the stars. So imagine we could just do stars all over one. That'd be fun. Um, United we stand. Oops, I need the black background for these. United we stand. We've got um, this one, God shed his grace on me. So as I was saying, here I am in Australia and we don't have 4th of July over here because it's not our Independence Day, it's yours, USA people. Happy Independence Day it will be. But like I said, I have family from America and my husband is from the USA, he was born in Idaho. Faith, family, freedom. There we go. So those are the ones that are in the six pack set, which will also fit nice and neatly. Yeah, so we like to decorate sometimes for 4th of July over here. So we'll be making these just for us. Uh, so see how they fit exactly on one of these. So. <clears throat> Let's get started with our banner and then I'll show you how we can join them all together. We just make some holes in here and string them along. Starting with the uh, red, white, blue. Let's do that over here. I'll just put that right down in the center. I do want to um, tape over that. Oops, you can't see it. I'll have to do them right here front and center. So we do want to tape over the hole because these are made for the wooden tag sets. Now you can get those at the essential stencil shop if you use my code I restore stuff you'll get 10% off so just cover those holes up because they're meant to sort of line it up with the tags for those so I line, uh, taped that off and just add one more little bit of tape there just to keep it still I've still got my black brush here that I forgot to um, <clears throat> but I think white would be a great color for this one because it will stand out on the red and the blue and then I'll use a maybe a deep navy blue for that for that white tag so just grabbing another small stencil from the essential stencil brush set there's a set of four and they actually will um, get you they'll be discounted too when you get your 10% off by using my code I restore stuff in the essential stencil shop so we're just offloading again on my piece of cardboard. And some of these are a little bit close to the edge, so I've just got to be a bit careful not to get that. But if you're worried about getting that onto the side, let's use some tape. And then you don't have to stress about it being all up in there. 
Okay, so I said before at the end, I'll be showing you how we'll string all these together. <clears throat> but this is such a fun way of um, decorating book covers that we're just going to go to the waste. I love to, I love a good upcycle, recycle. I like to recycle some of those. Someone's saying, I need to be better at offloading, Lorraine, yeah. And someone's using these stencils right now. Is that you, Maggie? Yes. So how many, how many others of you are crafting and painting as you watch the live today? I know that a lot of you do. Thank you guys for all the hearts and all the love and for sharing our, sharing our lives. That means a lot. And don't forget to take advantage of our ambassador codes. So my code is I restore stuff. And if you use that or any of the links here, if we send you a link, you can use that link and that will help to give us credit for showing you all of our tips and tricks and techniques each week on our lives. Let's add a little bit more tape to the bottom where that star is so that that doesn't, so the paint doesn't get down onto the red. Okay, so using just a acrylic based furniture paint that I have on hand because I'm a furniture painter and I teach others through workshops and through my online tutorials on my YouTube channel how to paint furniture and to upcycle your home decor. So if you need to see any more of that kind of content, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd love to see you there. Subscribe to my blog, my blog newsletter. It's irestorestuff.com. Okay, we're going to take that off now, see if we can see nice sharp lines. How cool is that? Red, white and blue. And that's the first one of our bunting series here. We'll do the white, but the white one, we probably want to um, not use white, obviously. We use some color on that. So we can use the navy for navy blue, I think. It's, a, it's called regatta, so it's a dark navy, which I like. And I feel like it's a very similar color to the book covers that I've got here. So it's sort of similar tones, I think. All right, so using our white book cover, which I painted white and I just used that same paint to paint on this. We'll put our truck going across here. Maybe we'll, I kind of want to do the, the flag, the different colors. Now remember we've got this uh, little dot here because it's from the tag set. We've got this dot, so we want to cover over that. Um, so for now, I might just do the whole thing navy and then I might go back later on after the live and just sort of fill in the details and actually do the um, stars and stripes, uh, different colors to make that um, pop out. So when we're centering this, we'll have to make sure that we um, put it further over. So you want to center the end of the flag to the end of the truck on this one. And again, the truck is just a little bit close to the edge there. So making sure I've taped off those areas that I'm a little bit concerned might, you know, go over the top. So with my white brush that I had used before, I'm going to pop that in there. I'm actually just going to use this brush that I had black on for the navy blue because I don't think it's going to matter too much. But, you know, if you're fussy, you might want to um, clean off your brush or use just use a different stencil brush so let's see can you see that there it's like a navy deep rich navy blue oh holly said happy to see me doing the truck you were struggling with it what parts were you struggling with holly sometimes um, those little tiny see there's such little tiny bridges in there for the stencil that they can be a little bit tricky so what I tend to do, and even the stripes here on the flag, um, when you've got stripes or lines, so we'll do the stripes first, I'm sort of pouncing but moving along at, to where the, the direction of the stripes. With the stars, let's see if I can point it down even further. With the stars, I'm just pouncing a little bit more rather than swirling or dragging okay so just try different methods and you just want to be really gentle with it so with these stripes i'm just going across the lines moving across in sort of a pouncy motion 
and just ever so slightly dragging my brush across. Now with the truck in that center window part, that's a lot bigger, so I can afford to just do some wiggling and swirling in there. And on the wheels, probably the same thing. I can kind of wiggle it, swirl it a little bit more. But I would just suggest, um, and if you've got the essential stencil brushes, they've got nice short bristles um, and are flexible enough to where you can just kind of pounce and then do a little jiggle, okay? So that's what I would try just to help you uh, get past all those little tiny lines. I hope that was helpful tips. But again, a lot of this is just practice, practice, practice. Look, I haven't dipped my brush in there anymore and I've still got plenty and I think I've got enough to do this entire stencil just even with all that offloading that I did. Again, just doing a little wriggle, jiggle and you can kind of see how much is covered. Okay, so like I said, I've done the whole thing and then I might go back later on when that's dried and just when the stencil's dried too and cleaned off. Oop, just making sure that tape doesn't pull my paint off because this board, remember I painted this one because it's a book page and it was a dark grey colour. So I wanted to make red, white and blue for my stencils. So we've got that here and I'll, we could even go over with a, um, a little paint, fine paintbrush to do the red and blue on the flag. Okay. So, um, we are going to, oh, Holly said thank you. She'll give it another try. Good on you, Holly. I like the attitude. <laughs> She's going to go practice. Okay, so if I was going to use this again right away, I would make sure I wipe that off. Might have just had a little glitch there. So it's reconnecting the video now. Yeah, we had a little glitch, so sorry about that. Okay, and again, on these, these uh, glasses, I think it would be fun to have, well, we, because it, I'm doing it on blue, it may be good on a white one also to just show those different colors, but I'll use the white brush on the blue. And we're gonna use the white paint. So just put my lid back on the blue for a minute, pop the white on. So I've done this a few times in my stenciling projects over the last uh, few times, shown you how you can use um, the white to make the background pop and make the whole stencil stand out. Then you go over and you can do your different colors within, in there on top of the white, even using that white as a bit of a shadow. So um, we might do that in this case, use that white as a bit of a background to lift the color that you want to put on top. So say you want to go in and, you know, you could probably leave the borders of the the borders of the glasses as white and then just color in the frames and you could use paint pens to do that even. You could use different colors. Um, but I'm going to use this white to make a bit of a background. And um, it does really make it sort of lift and stand out. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, go and have a look at some of the other lives that I've done where I've painted and sometimes I've done black as a background and then colored over the top if it's been a really white color. It just kind of helps to transition the colors and then you can sometimes still see a really faint line like almost like a shadowing effect. You can shift the stencil slightly to shadow it. So I'm just using a bit of, whoa I've got too much on my brush that time so wiping it off the edge before I then offload it onto my board here. So we are making and we did make a Father's Day stencil at the beginning. Essential Stencil has the links right there to all of the stencils that we've used in today's live with the patriotic stencils. Did I show you? I don't even know if I got to show you our 4th of July tags that are, well, this is the old set. So if you, you're new to Essential Stencil, you may not have these yet. So this is another three pack. And this has got the stars and it has a, a big USA here. And again, we've got um, a truck, but this one. Sorry, I'm not sure why that's trying to reconnect. We've got really good Wi-Fi here and I'm on the good Wi-Fi. So, all right, so there's our white glasses. Doesn't that really pop and stand out on the blue? So then you could go on after the afterwards, wait for your stencil to dry after you've washed it and then go in 
and add a bit of um, you know red and well I guess you wouldn't add then blue you've got the stars that are white and you've got the blue background so you just have to the flag okay not sure why that is happening is Facebook doing something crazy okay so that one I'm gonna wash that off now we've got this one I think I'll use from our other set here this was the mini tag set uh, whoops wrong one I've got the Father's Day one there that we used earlier um, here it is so that's the six pack mini America is the word that you would be in putting in the search bar on the essential stencil page to find that one or you can use the links that are right there in the comments um, that essential stencil has placed there so this one again we'll use the white to create a lovely white on these bold colors just looks fantastic again if you've just joined us we're using old books to create these fun stencil ideas and I'm using the book covers we made a book stack that I'll show you again at the end so stay tuned for that also don't forget we give away prizes here at essential stencil so there's that at the end of our live um, but we're using the book covers now to create a banner for 4th of July uh, decor anyone else having 4th of July barbecues it's getting see because I'm in Australia we're having winter now we're getting some cool mornings and cool nights or as you guys are all <coughs> moving into summer over there okay I love the way that this is going on and this one is from the America mini six by six set and they are really the perfect size for these um, book covers you could even just make them as a standalone sign you could probably fit that into a frame of some kind <clears throat> once I've finished these we are going to join them all together and I'll show you how to do that um, using some string <clears throat> I'll show you on a couple anyway we won't get time to do them all um, in fact I'll probably leave these and just go on with showing you how to string them all together but I'll be using some of these um, these from the the older set if you don't have that one already it's called fourth of July tags and we've got the stars they all look cute and we've got the truck with the fireworks in it and the USA with the stars and stripes so there's so many different options you can use for um, stencils for this kind of a 4th July theme Americana there we go America land of the brave so isn't that cute so <clears throat> I'll do the others in a little while and I'll have pictures up on my my uh, I restore stuff page I'll also pop some pictures in the stencil of the month club group but I wanted to show you and we'll probably have to just move this back slightly before we finish how I'm going to join these together so we've got about four done so far and I've got another white and blue so we've got from the three books that I created our book stack from so let me just bring those back to show you <clears throat> this is the book stack that we've got here I took this the whole covers off then removed the spines and then I was left with these red white and blue book covers so we're going to make and I've got my handy drill so we're going to make a banner or bunting I guess you would call it and they're nice and sturdy they'll last a long time then you could even just repaint them and create a whole new a whole different decor you could do red and green for Christmas or whatever so I'm just using a, a, a drill my drill and I'm going to just guess where I'm going to put some holes but I'm just going to drill because they're so hard I tried a hole punch that didn't work so we're just going to add some holes into the end here and I'm doing this right next to my kitchen bench <clears throat> but it's okay I'm being really careful not to get it anywhere near the kitchen bench and because it's just cardboard it goes through quite easily so now we've got two holes in the top right there that we can string our 
string our books along together. Who else wants to do something like this idea? You could even do this idea for, um, for a book lover, you know, for bedroom decor and make them some coordinated bunting even without any stencils on it. It would be cute just in all the different colors that you can get um, book covers in. And again, like I said, if you don't have the right color, I just painted this background white. So it's pretty easy to just um, paint them. Easy peasy. So once you've got all these holes drilled, and again, we've, we've just had today, I've used books and string and stencils and paint. That's pretty much our only supplies that we needed. And then of course, we've got our drill and all the things. So here's our string that we used just before to string our book stack together. Just remember you dry, you don't want your paintbrush drying out. So I'm just popping that in some water. And just starting with one end of the string, you can either go through the back or through the front. It doesn't really matter. Just tie it through this way, in through one way, out through the other, a little bit like weaving. And then you just kind of keep pulling until you've got enough that you need. I will go through guys and, and read your comments afterwards. So please, if you do have questions or if there's something you're unsure of, where did you get that from or whatever, let me know. Because I love to go back through and read and answer your questions and your comments. <coughs> Oops, cardboard's kind of being a bit, there we go, crazy at the back there. Okay, I have to pull some more through. Now, how I'm gonna hang it on my wall, that's another thing, but, so you just keep pulling your string through to see however much you need all of your book stacks to tie together. <coughs> pull that through. We are going to need lots more. Pull it through. And there we've got some fun bunting or banner banners to hang up for our 4th of July decoration. So you can hang them from a mantle. You could hang them from <clears throat> some hooks. So imagine that one's at the end. We've got tied off our string. I won't cut that off just now because we've got to um, add the others to it, which I'll do after our live and I'll show that on my page. So look out for that. And if you're on my Instagram page too, you'll be able to see that. Um, all right. There we go. Hope you can see that. So there's three of them and I've got another three. So we've got red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue. Did I do that the right way around? I'm backwards on the video, so <laughs> it's hard for me to tell. So we've got that and Essential Stencil is going to pick out some prize winners now. So while we're waiting for that, I'll just show you what else we made. So these are the books. So we've created all sorts of fun things from our books. So there's Best Dad Ever for Father's Day decor. And you could make 4th of July decor with just the same idea using a book stack and using some of these fun Faith, family, freedom. See, perfect for a book stack right there. Some of the mini sets. So don't forget to use my code, I restore stuff. And um, our winners are today. Look, we've got our winners here and I'm just gonna read them from my laptop so that I can see who you are. Sorry about that. Uh, we've got Patricia, Brenda, and another Patricia. So two Patricias today. Congratulations, Patricias and Brenda. Uh, the instructions are right there down in your, you've been tagged in the post, how to contact Essential Stencil, let them know your details and they will send you out a stencil prize. How fun is that? Thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll be showing you some more of this. So jump over on my page, I restore stuff on Instagram or um, on Facebook, see my blog, see some other furniture painting tutorials and here's our Father's Day book stack here. So I'll catch you next week for another live. Thank you for watching. Bye.